All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be upgrading my under gunnel LED lights. Uh, I currently have them, they're already in the boat, they're wired in, they have a switch, but I'm gonna upgrade them. And I'm gonna upgrade them with two colors. I wanna go from this real soft white to a bright white like this and go to a blue like that, utilizing one switch. So, have any questions or comments? Leave them at the end. I hope this video helps you guys out. Looking forward to doing it. Thanks. All right, so we're going to start with some 314 gauge marine wire, stranded wire. And I have two 20 inch blue and white LED strip lights. Also, a on off on contour switch with the dash. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start and I'm gonna identify what I already have. Now I have an on off switch, which would just operate one color. And right now I'm really not happy with it. I want something a little bit brighter, especially to do a lot of fishing at night. Um, and then of course adding the blue, it just makes it look cool. So to get started, I need to remove this switch and I'm gonna replace it with this one that I have in my hand. And this is a on off on switch so in the up position I can turn on the white light the middle position will be off and then the down position will be my blue lights so on the LED strip there's two colors I have the white and then I have the blue uh, what makes this particular brand the Triton brand so awesome is that they actually have the two positives and the negative labeled on the top so you know which wires which so. All right, so now it's time to remove the old switch and install the new one. So these contour switches have tangs on the top and bottom. Make sure you press them down, then push the switch out. Okay, so on my boat, this is the breaker for the lights. So it already has its own power that's coming in, so I don't have to add any power. The only thing I'd make, have to do is make sure that I install it on my new switch correctly. Now, on the new switch, if you look here on the blue C diagram here, the middle number two pin is the power wire, and one and the third pin is for the load. So I'm going to make my white lights on load one and my blue lights on my load two. And we have the LED ground, which is on this is the jumper wire, which is the black wire here. And the blue wire here is the power wire. So when it's on correctly, it'll light up correctly. Okay, good. All right, so now it's time for me to remove the existing wires and the lights since I'm replacing everything. Um, Note to self, every boat is different. Um, you know, sometimes you have to remove panels. Sometimes you have to 
remove seats and hatches to access everything. Each boat is going to be different. Um, I can tell you from my experience being in the marine field for over 20 years, uh, there is no boat the same. So try to route all your wiring correctly and safely so they don't get chafed. Um, and uh, try to follow the original uh, wiring diagram for the boat. So I've already run the wire from the forward hatch to the helm. Now I'm going to go ahead and just strip the wire back, put my spade connectors on so I can connect it to the switch. Alright, so the wiring is color coded. I go I already have everything stripped back so the first thing the black I'm going to use as the ground it's pretty simple keep everything simple my blue wire is going to be used for my blue lights and my yellow wire is going to be used for my white lights I don't need the red wire I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off um, I did have a four wire harness it's what I had available but just fine just cut back on it so it's not in the way and then I'm going to go ahead and splice my spade connectors on and then go ahead and install them onto the switch. All right, so after all my connectors are all connected on and heat shrunk in, it's time to install them on my new switch. Now, since everything's color coded, I'm going to install my yellow wire on the top, which is my number one pin, and the blue one on the bottom, which is my number three pin. All right, now I'm also now going to install the power wire on the number two pin, and I'm going to install the ground on that upper side pin there. So they're all connected there. The only thing I did not connect, of course, is the ground feed to the lights. Now the ground wire, I put an eyelid on and that's going to be installed on my grounding block inside the helm. All right, so now I have the main harness that's coming from the switch and I need to tie them in to both the port and starboard side lighting. Now it's great, here we go again. Everything is color coded, so we're just gonna match the colors. So we have the blue wire for the blue lights, I have the yellow wire for the white lights, and the black wire for the ground. So I want to go ahead and solder all these connections together and heat shrink them up.
All right, so after I soldered in and heat shrunk that center junction, now it's time to go ahead and wire the actual lights in on the port and starboard side. So, again, the blue wire is the blue light, the yellow wire is the white light, and the black wire is the ground. On the light here, it actually tells me which wire is for which. So, my blue wire is for the blue light. The green wire, it, it, and actually it's like a green yellow, is for the white light. And the tan wire is my ground. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut down that and go ahead and solder in these connections and heat shrink. And then I'll go ahead and test it. All right, so time to test it. Let's make sure my switch is working. So my blue lights are now on. I turned it off and now my white lights are working. So I know my switch is hooked up correctly. Um, now I just gotta do the starboard side and install them both. So my lights are now mounted and uh, anybody that's wondering, these lights have a wire that is on the other side. I just went ahead and just cut it and I put a piece of heat shrink on there so no corrosion will work its way into the light. All right, so now I got my blue lights, I got my white lights, definitely a lot brighter, definitely cooler. I can't wait to actually try it out on the intercoastal down here in Florida. If you have any questions, leave some comments. Please subscribe. Looking forward for my next video. I'm going to be putting some underwater lights on this thing. Thanks a lot.